Okay, Mello, uh, groundbreaking today. First of all, congratulations. I know this is uh, a big step for you and your career and your life. Yes, it's a, a great opportunity. Um, this is a legendary moment for myself, you know, and you know, and for the community of Syracuse, um, and as well as you know, the men's and women's basketball program. You know how the business of the sport works in recruiting, and how this facility will help get other future Carmelo Anthony's. What kind of impact do you think it'll make in the recruiting landscape and keeping Syracuse on top? Um, I think when they come here, when you know, when, when athletes come here. Um, they have a chance. They're gonna have a chance to see the state of the art facility that we, you know that's going on. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure Coach Beheim will do you know what he can you know to get a, you know, a bunch of good guys in. And the women's team gonna do a, you know a great a great job against some ladies in here. You know, you know hopefully this this you know this experience of having the Carmelo Anthony Center, you know, will bring a lot a lot of you know more recruits in. So. I know you hope that it brings other great basketball players here, and Syracuse again competes for the national championship. That goes without saying. What about bringing in guys that can see, wait a minute, Carmelo won a championship, went on to the pros, made a lot of money, and then thought it was important to give money back. Well, I'm pretty sure that, you know, what you just said, you know, when make guys or, or, or females want to come and see, you know, just by the simple fact they saw what I did, you know, when I was here, they seen how much fun I had when I was here. You know, you know, college is not always bad. You know, some people skip college, but I had a, I had an opportunity to come here, you know, for, for one season and, you know, for one year and experience not just the basketball aspect of it, but, you know, off the court as well. Why is it important to you to help your communities out? Because I know you've done it in Denver and you've done it in Baltimore, but you're only here a year and a half, let's say. Why did, Syracuse? I, I, when I got here, Syracuse opened their arms up to me like I was one of their own, you know, and it, I feel like it's a family, you know. In every community that that I'm in, whether it's Baltimore or Denver, you know, or Syracuse, I'm I plan on giving back. You know, this is one of the few things that I, you know, that I'm looking forward to doing up here in Syracuse. I remember the first time I ever saw Carmelo Anthony in person, and you're coming in from class, I think, and walking across, the, <laughs> walking right across the court in work boots or something <laughs> on your way to the locker room. How much have you changed and matured? And you know, now you're a father and a superstar and, and one of the best players in the world. Um, you know, it's. It, it's been a it's been a transition, you know, like you said, coming from, you know, a freshman here at Syracuse to, you know, to being a, you know, a man now, being a father, being a businessman, and, you know, there's a lot of responsibilities, but at the same time, all them stuff, all them things are, you know, they're fun. What's Coach Beheim meant to you, not only in the time here, but uh, obviously you guys are now going to work together with Team USA. Um, you know, I, after I left, you know, after he told me to get out, you know. <laughs> I never would have thought that I was going to reunite with Coach Beheim. And then when they told me about the USA team and, you know, he was going to be coaching, you know, I, I was probably more excited than anybody else just to get back out there on the court with him and just to hear, you know, hear his, the funny thing that he had to say from the, from the coaching side. How important is it uh, for you guys to win the gold? It's real important. It's real important. I think that's, that's another stepping stone for myself um, and as well as Coach Beheim and, and for the country, you know, as a whole. But, as far as Coach Beheim, I'm pretty sure that's that's going to be another legendary mark for you know for him and going along with the national championship and you know the the 20 plus years that he had in Syracuse and, and as well as the Hall of Fame. Now I know you're getting ready here. Halloween opens up uh, your season. You're hoping to get back to the playoffs with the Nuggets, and we'll be keeping an eye on what's happening here with a, a, really a young team. And it's the first time since your freshman year when there's been this much sort of new blood in the program. Yeah, you know, I, I was I was fortunate to play with some of the guys today. Um, you know, they, like I, I saw I saw a lot of potential with some of the guys and they they're looking pretty good. Even the freshmen, you know, they're looking pretty good and you know, I, I got my eye on them from afar. I know I'm not here a lot, but I got my eye on them from afar and I talked to some of the guys over the phone and just gave them a little couple pointers here and there to help them out. And lastly, what about the, the building itself? The men and women will both practice and, and what are they getting themselves into? Or are they getting themselves into, you know, something big, you know, something extraordinary. Um, you know, we don't have they don't have to come to, to Manly House and you know, like like Coach Bam said, fight for time on the court, you know. With a, with, a, with a lot of other sports programs, so they, they can go there whenever they want, you know, have a chance to, to practice, shoot, you know, whenever they want, and like I said, it's a great opportunity for them. Well, congratulations again, man, and we're all really proud of you here, as you know, and uh, wish you the best. Thank you.